What is up people, Fire here from AwesomeDudes.com and before you start with this video, just quickly, I wanted to tell you that you can go on my website here, AwesomeDudes.com and then you can go under download free assets and there you can download free assets. Now these are commercial free assets, they are not assets for this tutorial. The assets for this tutorial, this dark cave, you can find, link is in the description below so you can get them from that link. But these are other commercial free assets that you can use to develop your own games and you have 3D assets, 2D assets, backgrounds and whatnot and I keep adding new and new stuff. So you should definitely check this out and yeah, enjoy the video. And the final part is before us. So our game is up and running, we are practically done. We do need to create a function that's gonna restart the game when the player dies, check his lives, and if the player has more lives left to continue the game, then we are gonna continue the game, otherwise we are gonna load the main menu. And we're gonna do that by using an I enumerator or a coroutine, which I'm gonna call player died. Inside of our player died function, the first thing that we are gonna do is we are gonna yield return new, wait for seconds, and we are gonna wait two seconds before we execute anything. So before we execute anything, we are gonna wait two seconds, and after that, we are gonna execute something. And that is, we are gonna check if our life score is less than zero. So if the life score is less than zero, player has died, he has no more lives left to continue the game, load the main menu. So we're gonna call the scene manager dot load scene and here we are gonna load and let me just open the parenthesis main menu scene. So we're gonna load the main menu. Else if the player's life score is greater than zero. So if it's greater than zero, what we are gonna do, or if it's even equal to zero, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna reload our game. But we need to call the game manager and we need to say dot instance dot player died game restarted is now equal to true. And also our game manager instance dot not instantiate but instance dot score is equal to our own score and game manager that instance that life score is equal to our life score and we need to call game or scene manager now instead of the game manager load scene and we need to load the game play scene so we need to load let me just take a look at it game play like this and we're good to go so what we are doing here well, first we are checking if we don't have any more lives left to continue to play our game, then we are gonna load the main menu. And well, then from main menu, we can play our game. If we have more than zero or even zero lives, then we are gonna set player died game restarted. Why? Well, because here we are checking if the game has been started from the main menu, then we are gonna set here everything or set the default value for the score and the life score. Otherwise, we are gonna get the score from the game manager and also the life score, which is why here we are setting our own score to the score of the game manager and also our life score to the life score of the game manager. Which also brings me to the main menu controller when we start our game, we need to call the game manager, not game object, but game manager, so it's game manager that instance that player died game restarted is equal to false because in our gameplay controller here we're gonna set it to be equal to true and if we don't set it to be equal to false here then we will enter this if statement or else statement here when we restart our game and now we simply need to go in our decrement life and here we are gonna check start coroutine player died which is where we are gonna well check if the player has died so here we are gonna say start coroutine player died and first we are gonna decrement the life then we are gonna check if the life score is greater than or equal to zero in order to well display that to the user and we are checking this because in case if our life score is equal to negative one we are not going to display that to the user. And then we are simply going to run our coroutine and check if the player has died. So let us check that out. So if I hit the run button now and press start, 
we are gonna see that our score is two, notice, and the diamond score is zero. But notice when I collect the diamond, we now have one, and I'm gonna jump over the skeleton. So we have two for the diamonds, three for the diamonds, and two lives. Notice when I die now. So notice what happens when I die, we have one more life left and we are gonna restart the game from scratch. Now we have three diamonds and one life because we're continuing to play, we still have lives left. So now I have four diamonds but I'm gonna die and zero lives left. And we can do this only one more time before we, well, <laughs> die for good. So let's try that one more time and we are gone. Six diamonds but no lives left and we are gonna continue the game from start. If I click start, again we are restarting the game. One last thing that we need to do in our gameplay is that we need to add our level finished text and we're gonna do that in our canvas and I'm gonna go under game object UI and create a new text and let me just see where the text is so yeah it is here and I am gonna first resize it to something like this yeah we need it this big and I am gonna position it at zero okay it's zero at the X which is okay I am gonna set the alignment at the middle right here where it says the alignment. I am gonna also change the color where it says color and I am gonna select our own font which is Mr. Sunshine and I'm gonna resize it and here I am gonna say level finished. So level finished and something like this will do, font size, something like this, yeah. And the X is gonna be here. Let me just take a look at it, level finish, but I am gonna position it here, near the middle. Yeah, level finish, this can do. I am gonna rename it to level finished text right here. And we need to get our text. And we are gonna do that in our player's walk or player's core script right here. We do need to type using unity engine.ui or otherwise it will not work and below our public bool is alive. We are gonna type here private text, which is gonna be our finished or game finished text. And inside of our awake, I'm simply gonna say here game finished text is equal to game object dot find and let me just take a look at it. We named it level finished. Yeah, level finished. And I am gonna go here and type level finished. And I'm gonna say dot get component and it's gonna be the text component. We do need to deactivate it. So we need to say game finished text dot set active. Or actually no, we just need to find it as a game object. So we don't need, don't need to use Unity Engine UI. We simply need to type game object. We need it as a game object. And we don't need to get the component, so sorry for that. And we are simply gonna say game finish text dot set active to be equal to false. Because we don't want it to be visible when we first run our game. And when we hit the exit, then we are simply gonna take this line of code and we are gonna set it to be equal to true or activate it. So now our game is finished and congratulations. Just as a final check, I'm gonna go in the scenes and main menu and load the game, click start here, and now when we go here, so let us just wait for it to go here, and I'm gonna collect the diamond, wait for the skeleton so that we can avoid him, collect the other diamond, we have one more skeleton that we need to avoid, and we have two or three more diamonds left, three that is, and now I'm gonna collect the last diamond, so six diamonds, when I hit the door, notice now, bam, level finished. And we are finished with this course. Congratulations for keeping up, I'm proud of you, you learned a lot, this is a comprehensive course. And yeah, that's that. If you wanna check more from your instructor, which is awesome toots, or I am the CEO, I'm the founder, the manager, whatever you wanna call me of awesome toots, you can go on my YouTube channel, also my website, www.awesometoots.com. And I will see you there, guys. Congratulations on the finished project and take care.